We've been saying this forever and we've been ridiculed heavily for this. When I said many years ago that as a mother shares her body with the child, the child also shares its body with the mother. Oh, what ridicule by all those textbook and WhatsApp scientists all over. Today, uh, many studies are showing that the child starts sharing its own cells with the mother and these cells go on settle in various parts of the mother's body, including various vital organs. This is child's way of trapping the mother, that after birth she shouldn't throw it away and go somewhere. If she does this, here it must… everything must pull. Every organ in the body pulls. So this is child's trap. See, do not underestimate this unborn. <laughs> These unborn guys are not ordinary guys. They are very powerful. So because these child cells are working in the mother's body at various levels, even it's the most troublesome whatever, she can't throw it away because it's not her child, it's her. <laughs> this wears off as time passes, which you can see. <laughs> For a female, by the time they're eighteen, almost everything is gone, if it's a girl, child. For a male, it's twenty-one years, by then everything is gone. The physiological connect is over by then. In the beginning we were talking about how even a fetus anchors you in such a way that you are helplessly… it's not a choice anymore. So in that process, a woman is lot more anchored to her physicality than a man. Because without that, probably our mothers would have thrown us out of the window. Only because of that anchor, that no matter what we did, you know, it carried on. So, that is fine, that is the structure of life. But you shouldn't get into that pattern, you must know when to work yourself out of that, particularly women. Because you can go on endlessly with the same concerns to the last breath. This unfortunately is true with a large segment of women. Not that men are all enlightened something, I'm just saying <laughs> there is a little biological factor which makes you like that, always little concerned about your body, always little concerned about your physiological framework. So you have to be little more, little more on sadhana than men because biology takes little more tearing to release you. It won't release you so easily, it has a grip on you in a certain way. This is natural process, it's not your mistake. It's a natural process to see that the race perpetuates. This is the time. This is the time for the woman to rise in such a way because it's unfortunate that we have put them in competition with men, I can also grow muscles. Are, this is not the area in which you should compete. This is why spirituality is important because in this domain there is no male-female. When we say… Sp when we say body, there is female and male. When we say spirit, there is no male-female. This is where you must compete. <laughs> this is where you must rise. This is where you must reach your fullness so that in today's world, you cannot be obscure, you will be visible. If wisdom arises within you, you will be visible, nobody can stop you anymore. Those days are gone. So you are in that privileged generation of women. Probably I would say this is the very first generation where there is such a privilege that if you rise in your consciousness, you will immediately be recognized, which was not so 
for thousands of years, not been so. This is the first time it's so, make the best out of it.